Let's get down to basics. In the early 1930s, Professor Joseph B. Ryan came up with the expression extrasensory perception, ESP, at his laboratory at Duke University. Uh, one of his associates, Carl Zenner, came up with a set of five designs known as ESP testing symbols. They're easy to identify. Uh, there's a square, uh, a circle, a plus sign, three wavy lines, that's the strange one, and a star. Now the standard deck of these contains uh, five of each, so it's 25. And we're going to make use of them uh, in the most basic of ways to uh, try and experiment in telepathy. I'd like you to give the cards a cut. Nicely done. Do it again, but this time do it under the table and I'll turn my head away so that really nobody knows where you've cut. You can cut high or low or dead center, it's up to you. Have you done that? Yes. Without looking, take the top card, whatever it may be, and slip it into your pocket. Okay. All right. Put the rest of the cards back into the box. So now there is one card that is isolated, an image. Nobody knows what it is. No. Including you. Yes. Well, if I'm going to try to read your mind, there has to be something in it for me to read. So I'll turn away again. You take a peek at that card. Do not show it to the camera. Just for your own information, peek at whatever that card may be. Okay. Okay, now I have something to work with. I'll ask you to look here and to visualize whatever that design may be. So actually see it. So if it's a circle, see it as a circle. All right, if it's a square, see it as a square. I don't care what you call it. You know, the plus sign could also be called a cross. Doesn't matter, it will look the same when you visualize it. Same is true of the star or the wavy lines. Now you've kept a pretty good poker face. You haven't given me a lot of reaction, but I think I've been able to narrow it down reasonably well. Let me just make sure on this. Uh, the designs come in two basic types because some of them are made entirely out of straight lines and some are made out of curved lines. And you've just told me exactly what I need to know. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put down what I think you may have in mind. Uh, I'll actually write it uh, rather than draw it just for the sake of variety. So, for the first time, what was the design in your mind? A star. Show me. The star. This stuff works.